Hello everyone, this is Casey again. Today I want to show you how we do the video stitching of the K2 Pro in Mystica VR and specifically working with a C-Log 2 and high ISO footage. Let's begin. First, we are launching the Mystica VR and having the right size and frame weight as your project. And then we copy the file from camera to a working folder. And since this is uh, made with a high ISO at 10,000, we prefer to launch the Ccam Denoiser program for all your footage before loading into the Mystica VR. And in this uh, Ccam, in the metadata menu, you can specify the name of the camera and make it as a preset of your footage. But if you have not done it yet, you better change the file name of the red for the left side with starting with L and right side starting with R. Otherwise, it may affect the order in the presets operations. Now let's drag the file in the Mystica VR and tell them which preset to use. We made a preset for the Mystica VR, but however, every individual unit, they may have a tiny variation at the sensor level. So you may want to make sure it is well calibrating with the image center as well as the crop size before using for all your projects. Once your calibration was done, you can save it as a new preset. Your very own preset will be working for all of your subsequent projects. So we are hitting the continue and loading the presets now. As you can see, the C-Log tool is showing a different color as usual. The REC 709, you may use it right away, but with the C-Log 2, we can have much more flexibility in the color grading in your uh, subsequent options. And we can now focus on the uh, stitching first. Now you can see my body was standing too close to the camera. It is not good for stereo alignment. So we try to start with something like this. And you may see the far away building, they are not vertical, they are at a slightly angle. It was because I was not setting my camera at an absolute horizon level, including the pitch. So, A, we can do it very easily in the output camera setting by changing the pitch and the roll. Maybe something like this is more or less okay. Now we can double check the crop size by enabling this button. The left lens is here and we are toggling the crop menu. Try to match this red, the uh, yellow circle best fitting your imaging circle without the fringes on the side. And this is the left eyes, this is the right eyes. When it's done, you can just hide it out and change to the black and white anagraph mode. In this mode, the two eyes, they were showing in different colors, so you can see the difference very easily. Now you can see the red and the cyan color, they are not in the same vertical level, so there's some kind of vertical parallax. So we can use the alignment button here to try to fix that. The first step is we are using the horizontal offset function here. Try to make them overlap together in a horizontal sense. And then we can further zoom it in and drag the left video all the way to eliminate the vertical parallax. Check for the cap logo here. Okay, so that's done. Now let's check on the left side. This red song is covered by one of the lenses, so we can ignore this song. So we just focus on this area and we shifting the horizontal offset again and drag to match 
okay the left side is done we do something similar with the right side you see there's some offset here we just take the horizontal offset and drag it until it's done okay when both edges they are ready we double checking at the center again okay it looks perfect to me when it's done we are we are adjusting the horizontal offset to make sure the far away buildings they are showing as 2d when it's okay we can switch back to the side by side we are 180 with the c log mode we can do a lot of uh, color grading in the post-production but if you wish you can do the color matching by pressing this button here so that the color on both sides they are more coherent and before you do the rendering make sure the audio on the right side it was picking and then we do the rendering since this was made with the c -Log 2 color space we have to do the color conversion with the uh, editor like the Premiere Pro and we want to use the intermediate format as the progress and stereotype as left right via 180 and the in movie audio when you hit the rendering button it will make the file you need and the next step we will do the color grading in Premiere Pro okay when the rendering is ready I load it into Premiere now in Premiere you may see the C log 2 colors look a bit washed out and it's totally normal all we have to do is going to the video effect plugin look for the C cam and C log color we jet and drop this to the video file and it's almost done you have to specify the input color space as C log 2 and it will do the rest for you you can adjust the exposure temperature saturation blah, blah 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 a lot of different parameters here but the most important option will be the output color space when you want to have the best user experience i would stay on with the rec 709 to make sure all my footage will have the same consistent color if you wish you can try a different combination up to your taste but since this is a very uh, dark scene we were shooting at ISO 10,000 after the image conversion you will see the sky is very smooth the building is okay but for the all the close-up shot I was shining up with a ring light stay setting at about uh, 20 centimeters behind the camera and you may check it at the shadow and my face may gone a little bit blow off when I was getting too close so I better adjust the exposure here to make sure the skin tone is nice okay for all VR 180 work we may not showing the lenses to the audience otherwise it may be a little bit uh, annoying so we usually have a mask to cut the FOV to about 170 degree so you will not see the lenses on the sideway and it will look more comfortable in the headset when it's okay you can do the rendering by going to the export menu in the export menu we can stay with the uh, output size of as the as the rendering and make sure if you are outputting as the h265 you are clicking the rendering at maximum depth otherwise it will make it only 8-bit instead of 10-bit output uh, for the optimal viewing experience inside the headset i will set the bit rate 
to up, about 60. So export quality is highest. And tell them this is a VR video with side by side 180. Rendering is maximum quality. And when it's done, you will you can check it with your headset. So thanks for watching, and I will have some more tutorial video coming up. And stay tuned and subscribe our channel. And see you. Thank you. Bye bye.